certain miscellaneous terms miscellaneous terms and concepts is pe questions bahut zyada to nahi hai but then just to have a sense of completion the first one is we'll talk about what is acid rain so acid rain generally kya hota hai the the normal rain jo hota hai it has a ph value i hope you know what's ph value uh, ph value 7 jab hota hai it is considered to be neutral if ph value 7 is considered to be neutral if the ph value is more than 7 it is alkaline and the ph value is less than 7 we call that as acid okay so i think uh, most of you should know this otherwise likh lijiye aap log this is Uh, alkaline or this is basic ph more than 7 ph less than 7 is acidic okay the general rain range jo hota hai regular rain uh, generally has a ph of about uh, uh, 6.5 to 8.5 a general rain, range hai the regular rain has a ph value of 6.5 to 8.5 but then jab there is acid rain the ph falls the ph is approximately 4 to 5 ho jata hai 4 to 5 so that's pretty less it's 4 to 5 acidic rain now uh, harmful to hey yes this is harmful this is harmful uh, harmful may uh, it can impact uh, vegetation uh, it can impact uh, uh, health health skin problems in particular uh, eye irritation and the rest and also impacts our buildings uh, it causes corrosion uh, corrosion of infrastructure okay so it is harmful definitely a uh, soil kharab ho jata hai the soil uh, acidic soils are always poor soils it can cause problems of lack of fertility or reduce okay fertility so it is harmful now acid rain ka source kya hai what is the source of acid rain uh, acid rain can be natural can be natural and it can also be because of human factors because of human factors by the way i forgot to mention here when i say acid rain two most common reasons there are many reasons but the two most common uh, uh, reasons are uh, if we have uh, nitrogen compounds in the air and we can have uh, sulfur compound in the air so weak nitric acid types and weak uh, sulfuric acid types theek hai so source jo hai source mein the most common otherwise uh, acid rain is also related to methane like okay, baki chemicals bhi hain which can cause acid rain but ye do sabse common hai Okay, nitrous and uh, nitrogen oxides and the sulfur oxides they mix with water. Now, if natural is, uh, generally nitrogen compounds which are formed, this is formed because of lightning. Okay, lightning, jo, lightning which is formed, bijli and uh, storms is natural, and this actually okay, uh, this creates uh, nitric acid, and this is this is partly this is partly a beneficial uh, because uh, uh, this uh, enriches the soil in terms of nitrogen availability it's partly beneficial in soils in soils okay the bacteria the bacteria help trap uh, nitrogen nitrogen uh, into the soils so ye jo nitric acid girega pani ke sath mein on the soil the bacteria can remove from the acid and add it to the soil so it partly beneficial hai okay this is natural and the second natural is uh, uh, from uh, volcanic eruptions jo volcanic eruptions hote hain uh, these are uh, these have lot of sulfur content they have lot of sulfur content okay so uh, sulfur Uh, so sulfur oxides or sulfur compounds sulfur compounds they come from volcanic eruptions nitrogen compounds because of okay uh, lightning uh, creating nitric acid and it's partly beneficial okay 
इसके अलावा यू ऑल्सो हैव बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस दैट क्रिएट द एसिड कंपोनेंट द बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस में यू हैव स्वैम्स स्वैम्स के एमिशंस यू ऑल्सो हैव फ्रॉम माइक्रोबियल एमिशंस ओके बिकॉज यहां से मीथेन निकलता है दिस मीथेन इज केपेबल ऑफ क्रिएटिंग सम अमाउंट ऑफ एसिडिक रेनफॉल ओके सो नेचुरल में नेचुरल में प्रोसेस इंक्लूड लाइटनिंग प्रोसेस क्रिएटिंग नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड वोलकैनिक इराप्शन क्रिएट सल्फर कंपाउंड एंड यू ऑल्सो हैव दिस बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस स्वैम्स में वेटलैंड स्वैम्स एंड वेटलैंड स्वैम्स एंड वेटलैंड ओके माइक्रोबियल एमिशंस ऑल्सो लाइफ स्टॉक इमेज एमिशंस आई थिंक यू नो दिस लाइफ स्टॉक लाइक कैटल they emit uh, methane okay so all of this can add to the acid rains acha ek cheez aap jaan lijiye that uh, the major uh, biological source of uh, sulfur compound ke add kar lo aap the major the major biological source of sulfur compounds is dimethyl sulfide and it's associated with again wetlands forests and so on ये सब मल्टीपल चॉइस में दे कैन ऑलवेज बी ओके डाई मिथाइल सल्फाइड इज द मेजर नेचुरल बायोलॉजिकल सोर्स ऑफ सल्फर कंपाउंड्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नेचुरल फैक्टर इज वोलकैनिक इराप्शन वोलकैनिक इराप्शन विल गिव यू द मैक्सिम अमाउंट ऑफ सल्फर कंपाउंड्स ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन नाउ अबाउट द ह्यूमन एस्पेक्ट ह्यूमन फैक्टर्स सो दीज आर रिलेटेड टू पोल्यूशन these are pollution or is may common is emissions okay the vehicular emissions and you also have industrial emissions okay these are the main vehicular emissions so vehicular emissions mein to sab kuch hai sulfur uh, compounds bhi hai uh, nitrogen compounds bhi hai okay uh, you also have carbon monoxide Which can also become part of the weak acids, okay? Uh, industrial emissions may all the three, but a major, alex source is uh, fossil fuel burning of coal. Fossil fuel burning of coal that is rich in sulfur. The jahan jahan pe because sulfur is is part of some of the coal that we extract. Indian uh, coal may be thora wa sulfur hai. So when you burn coal in the thermal power plants. Okay, you are releasing uh, sulfur compounds, and these sulfur compounds, okay, can cause acid rain. Okay, acid rain ka koi solution nahi hai, other than uh, stopping or improving emissions. There is no other uh, post emission wala solution. What you can do is largely uh, manage the source, which is the emissions, which is the emissions. ठीक है.